Throughout the two years that I've played Plane Crazy, we have developed many ways to build better creations. At first, there was the use of ropes and springs to create a makeshift controllable piston, and its use on proto motorlock builds. A year later, motor locking took center stage as many people began making more complex and detailed builds. And I believe that what I have discovered will forever change how Plane Crazy works, just like how motor locking did. Using a program called Auto Hotkey, I was able to execute multiple key binds depending on what single key bind I've pressed. Now using this knowledge, I've made a quad bot that loops a walking cycle as long as I'm holding down W. Now before I begin, you must be wondering, is this legal? General exploits insert code within the Roblox client and is able to change the properties of its workspace. In layman's terms, it modifies the behaviors of the objects within the server. What this program does, however, is run commands to my PC, not Roblox or nor its servers. It's basically an auto clicker. But hey, if you don't see me on the Plain Crazy Discord anymore, you know why. Which is why you should subscribe to my channel and hit the notification. Oh, For a little demonstration, I'm just going to be showing you how this code works works because this program basically you have to put code into the um a script and whatnot i mean it's like roblox studio scripting but you have to use c plus plus so i'm going to be naming this motor to um i'm going to be naming it n and m and i'm changing the anchor to b do not change it to shift or anything like that because there's this thing with the keyboard controls that it somehow affects left shift even though i'm pressing m so make sure you make this another key bind like b and I'm going to keep this at F. Make sure that the piston and the motor 2 are both toggled because I'll be showing you why as we continue on. Now make sure that all windows are closed and right click on the screen and put in an auto hotkey script. So I'm going to be calling this like random script because I have like many scripts and I don't want to confuse them. Make sure that you don't delete the four lines of code like as soon as you open the notepad. That's like very important, so don't mess with it at all. And the first thing that you need to do, in my opinion, is type escape colon colon and what they'll do um, and type exit app. And what that does is um, once you press escape, it's going to um, exit the program and basically like end it. And this is important because you don't want a script that you can't end. Like another way to end the script is to shut down the computer, but that's very long and tedious and that's quite stupid. And after that, you can type Q, type in two colons. And what this does is basically once you press that certain key bind, it's going to um, execute the other key binds below it. I'm going to be typing send F. And what that'll do is um, send the F key bind like you're typing it on the computer. And after that, I'm going to be typing sleep 500. So what that does, it'll just wait half a second. So basically a thousand equals one second. It's similar to how Roblox Studio's wait command works, except this one is different. And after that, I want to send an M. So what that does is simulate an M on the keyboard. And after that, um, type return, and this ends the program. It's similar to the end task in the Roblox script. And this is out of good habit, but I usually put brackets in between the, um, the commands that I want to execute um, because of this one um, key bind. These brackets are very useful, like once you get into much more complex coding, but I just do this out of practice. Once that's done, all I have to do is exit out of the program, make sure that this is saved, and I am going to be running the script. So I'm going to get back onto Roblox right now, full screen. And for the moment of truth, I'm going to be pressing Q. And there you have it, like some sort of like semi-automation. It gets more complicated and you're able to do much, much more stuff um, with all this coding. And I'm probably going to do this in like later videos as well, because this this is something that I want to touch on and I think it's going to change playing crazy. So thank you for watching the video. I'm going to be making a lot of tutorials on this because there's so much I can go over. Please consider subscribing. I'm going to be making a lot of videos on this and see you guys next time.